Using a formula to calculate volume and making use of some conversion factors helps us solve many problems involving volumes. Here's one example. A backyard rectangular pool is 9.15 meters long and 4.77 meters wide, and the water has an average depth of 1.7 meters. The instructions on the label of a bottle of granular chlorine says to add 50 grams of granules to each 4,545 liters of pool water in order to shock the pool initially. It is known that a volume of one cubic meter is the same as 1,000 liters. The question asks us how many grams of chlorine granules should be added to this pool to initially shock it. We'll start by calculating the volume of the pool in cubic meters. The formula for volume of water in the pool is length times width times the depth of the water. The length is 9.15 meters. The width is 4.77 meters. And the depth of the water in our pool is 1.7 meters. 9.15 meters times 4.77 meters times 1.7 meters is equal to 74.20 meters cubed. So the volume of water in our pool is 74.2 cubic meters. But because the instructions on the bottle dealt with liters of water, we must change our volume from cubic meters to liters. We were told earlier that a volume of one cubic meter is the same as 1,000 liters. So we'll make a note of that here. Because 1,000 liters is the same as one cubic meter, we can write a conversion factor showing this here. To get the volume in liters, we'll multiply 74.20 meters cubed by the conversion factor 1,000 liters per one meter cubed. This works because the unit meters cubed is on top and on the bottom so they can be cancelled out, leaving us with the unit liters, which is what we wanted. 74.20 times 1000 is equal to 74,200 liters. So we have now converted our volume to liters. We were told earlier that we need to add 50 grams of granules to each 4,545 liters of pool water in order to shock the pool initially. So we'll make a note of that here. We'll use this to create a conversion factor here. There are 50 grams of chlorine granules for each 4,545 liters of pool water. So the conversion factor is 50 grams per 4,545 liters. To find the mass of granules we need, We'll take our volume of 74,200 liters and multiply it by the conversion factor 50 grams per 4,545 liters. This will work because we have the unit liters on top and on the bottom, and we can cancel these out, leaving us with the unit grams, which is the correct unit for mass. To get our final answer, we'll multiply 74,200 by 50 and divide by 4,545, which gives us 816 grams. So we know we need to add 816 grams of chlorine granules to our pool. Here is the whole solution to the problem on one page. It would be good to review it step by step at this point and make sure you understand it.